how how many of you please put on the comment section how many of you think this guy is this is a propaganda and he's uh, bikram is getting paid by the pr bjp supporter bjp <laughs> supporter and also pr machine run by gautam gambhir Hi Vikram so I think I uh, everybody must have enjoyed your uh, world 11 and my world 11 and I've also seen other people's world 11 now and I'm very <laughs> embarrassed Uh, to see some of the names there, including Parthi Patel, I think that's that's actually Parthi Patel himself opening an account and including himself in the world's greatest eleven as the wicket keeper, <laughs> as the batsman, and also as the captain of the team. Yeah, yeah, like, like that guy. <laughs> who is that guy? Like that's just crazy. That's just yeah. crazy. Who is that? And did you Patel. see that team? That team is incredibly amazing, and they're saying like we will beat anybody, including the greatest West Indian team of seventy. This this guy, I need to this this account to be investigated. Yeah, yeah. we'll we'll write to uh, we'll write to Google to just yeah. Uh, I, I like who is this guy? Who is this person? Like I want this account to be investigated. That uh, what is this person and why this person is doing something like that? Just it's just outright crazy. So. Hmm. Yeah. But anyway, we'll have to start. Uh, what is this guy's name? I don't know what this guy's name is, but I think you have to figure out that. Uh, okay, we'll do that later on. So, yeah. my one day eleven. Um, this is for India only between nineteen ninety five and two thousand for last twenty five years, which we have personally seen and visually seen these people. And I'm gonna start with my openers. No, so, uh, just, 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 hmm, just, a, just a note that if someone uh, has directly come to this video, we already did a video on the best international eleven. Uh, so you can go and watch that video and come back and see this video uh, just a disclaimer uh, gaurav didn't have sachin tendulkar in that team so yeah something to let you know that was, that, was, that was a horrible thing to say and tendulkar did not deserve to be in there that was even the worst thing to say <laughs> <laughs> right, okay we'll so get, get on yeah. with this one yeah we have same openers here i have rohit sharma and i have as much as i don't looks like this guy i cannot make an indian 11 and opening if somebody has to open i put such in the ruger in there not very happy about it but it's a fair it's a right choice so i have rohit sharma and mr such in the ruger such in ramesh the ruger opening just to be sure yeah Do i have the people? same yeah i have the same because uh, i don't know who who else to pick i mean there was uh, sehwag uh but i can't really bring saiva again drop either of uh, either sharma or uh, sachin tendulkar so i both uh, we both have the same openers rohit sharma and sachin tendulkar and uh, yeah i mean so why did you pick sachin tendulkar this time not this time it's a world 11 is a different animal altogether i have the players from everybody and in fact by the way if i let's not talk about that too much because then i'll start revealing my team but i picked him because see of all the players as you said viren seva by the way also mm. let me release the next one as well i have viren seva on my team so for different reasons but why i picked the nuker is because if you see all the players the solidity so in the opening mm. i want somebody he can still be a bit more flamboyant right because they can decide yeah. who's going to be more flamboyant either is rohit sharma or this guy so the nuker's problem was later on he'll slow down so and because at the beginning he'll still be fast rohit sharma will be fast and if the nuker does decide to slow down it's okay because now i have a bit more flamboyant players coming after him and then rohit sharma will continue to be more flamboyant because he's like one player is anyway slowing down and you can't stop the nuker from slowing down because this guy even for our matches he's like no i have to make a hundred that is very mm-hmm. important for me so it is like he's going to do it so rohit sharma can continue because rohit sharma has much more appetite for those big runs 
because yeah. Tendulkar once he makes hundred, he's like, okay, I have to go to my wife now. I have to go back to my children. And but Rohit Sharma is like, no, I'm gonna go back to my wife, but only after I make two hundred fifty. And 300 this time. I think this guy is going to try for 300 once he gets out, if he is able to get out of his house after quarantine. Because we are, I'm assuming, and I'm really assuming that it's going to be really, really, really sad. And yeah. just come out and say, I have to retire because I really can't bat. Uh, because they're not allowing substitute runners. Uh-huh. And that's a huge problem for me. <laughs> and because Virat Kohli is asking me to do that uh, test. That you test. Test. Yeah, yeah. test. He's like, no. That's not happening. The so only yo-yo is happening. It's actually in my mouth. I'm eating a lot of yo-yos. <laughs> or, my, or my tummy is doing the yo-yo. <laughs> yeah, I think because hanging out too much with Masjid Malega is not helping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. But I, mean, surprise, uh, I have Viren Samak because I felt like both two batsmen were just amazing batsmen. And obviously, we have Virat Kohli is number four. But the, the biggest surprise is you have is number three. Yeah. Wait for it. Wait for it. And please say it. It's Gautam Gambhir. <laughs> Gautam Gambhir? I don't know who this person is. I've never seen him play. Who is this person? Parthi Patel is like, why I'm not in the team? Gautam Gambhir is <laughs> Parthi Patel is not happy. So, so Gautam, uh, please Gautam. explain to people, why do you have Mr. Gautam Gambhir, who's Gautam Angry Gambhir in the team? Yeah, first of all, he's the, he's uh, uh, Shahid of Shahid best friend, so uh, automatically he gets uh, into the team. Coming to uh, like a serious note, not serious, but yeah. Uh, so I I just felt I mean I I had a lot of uh, candidates for this uh, as uh, you picked uh, Sehwag. I really like Sehwag. Nothing against Sehwag, uh, but uh, yeah, I want, really wanted left hander uh, first of all, uh, and then I just just think about it that uh, the two World Cup wins we had in both the matches Gambhir has scored the highest run so I just feel that he is one of those players who can handle the pressure and uh, if you see I mean now people think about Gambhir negatively but uh, he just his career just ended abruptly he just I think he just had a couple of bad uh, series and then since he was in the opening and then these guys Sharma and uh, uh, Dhawan just came into the picture and they never let him uh, come back to the team. So, it, it was a bit unfair on him uh, that he didn't get a uh, second chance. And, I mean, he did get some matches after that, but it was not a longer run. But if you just see his records, in fact, between 2008 and 2012, he was the fourth highest scorer in the world. Um, uh, just behind Sangakara and I think a couple of guys, I don't remember the name, but uh, he was accumul- uh, accumulating a lot of runs. So, And he has scored big in Australia. There was this tri-series in 2008. He scored like four, 440 runs in 10 games. So he has scored runs, uh, and he has scored runs in crunch situation. So I just felt that, uh, um, I mean, I I had Ganguly in my mind, but then, uh, I mean, I everyone knows that he had problems with short ball. So that is something I can't have a player who is, uh, as you said, who who was found out. So, yeah, um, yeah. so yeah, I just felt that uh, again going by the balance uh, because uh, I wanted a left and right hand combination which I couldn't have on in the opening. Uh, so I thought at least uh, at number three you can have a left hander, and who better to do that? Uh, then Gautam Gambhir uh, because I couldn't think of anyone else Did I mean yeah so that was my okay, two things I have to say on that first of all I think whatever the arguments that he gave somehow sounded logical but I don't agree with any of them my thing is for the viewers which is including uh, Prithvi definitely Nikesh and Nitesh how, how many of you please put on the comment section how many of you think this guy is this is a propaganda and he's uh, Vikram is getting paid by the PR I'm machine BJP supporter <laughs> BJP supporter and also PR machine run by Gautam Gambhir but to you Vikram direct question is how on earth are you going to make Gautam Gambhir play with Virat Kohli are you out of your mind <laughs> if you can if you can uh, handle your OD, uh, the international ODI team I can handle this team as well we don't want to bring my international ODI team in this thing right now. This next thing you have to ask the question: How on earth are we going to play next to Virat Kohli without fireworks on the field, like genuine gunfire? Yeah, I'll just I'll just tell them. See, you guys uh, just go out there and sledge the other team. Don't sledge each other. 
if you, you know both the openers get out and if gautam gambhir and virat kohli ha- has to ban then i'll probably send yuvraj singh instead of virat kohli i don't know but yeah i mean <laughs> i know this is kind of funny because uh, at, at least i know gautam gambhir doesn't like virat kohli so yeah and then and then there is sharma angle as well right <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of problems happening right now here, buddy. <laughs> this, this is a lot of problems. By the way, we have a fifth player. Is, like, we at least have like, Yuvraj Singh is there. Because uh, no matter what you think of Yuvraj Singh, what I personally think, I think later on there was a lot of problems. He was very patchy. But there's something about like this raw talent. And earlier, by the way, when he started, he was a brilliant fielder. Later on, mm-hmm. just became a fat fielder. But he was just somebody very acrobatic. And I think later on, he just couldn't control his diet, couldn't just stop eating. The- yeah, I think... We have to give him a bit of benefit of doubt because he had to fight with cancer and then... Oh he my God, him. another propaganda. We can't have so much propaganda. <laughs> this thing. Dude, he had cancer. He was perfectly fine. He had that cancer which does not kill people. Oh my yeah. God, like, look at this guy. Look at this guy. How horrible. I'm talking about before cancer, by the way. Before cancer. And he was really... He yeah. Was always some, like lazy, fat fielder. Because I'm saying this guy was a very, very great fielder, by the way. Yeah, he he started uh, started as a great fielder. I mean, he and Kef uh, were the and and Raina uh, were one of the best fielders in the team. And uh, yeah, I mean, just I think we uh, again. If I have to talk about Yuvraj Singh, I think raw talent. I think he's up there with Sharma. He's one of the cleanest uh, hitter of uh, cricket ball, and we have already seen. I think your international team player Flintoff has already seen what happens if you piss him off, and. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I I don't see how we can drop Yuvraj Singh in a Indian ODI team. No, no, absolutely, I completely agree with you because also because the way the team is going, I was like, you know, I was thinking of either uh, Yuvraj Singh or um, wait for it, one of the greatest players ever, Vinod Kamli, Sachin Tendulkar's oh. friend. I wanted him instead of Yuvraj Singh, and I I was thinking like if I if you have Vinod Kamli instead of Yuvraj Singh, the only problem is this guy still start crying in the middle of the match. And that will be his problem. That's what happened in 1996 World Cup semi-final yeah. against Sri Lanka when India was about to lose. And this guy started crying. People started pelting uh, water bottles. And then the match was abandoned. Sri Lanka was given the walkover. And Sri Lanka eventually beat Australia in the final rest of history. My point is, Virat Kamli was a great batsman. Yeah, but we yeah. did not choose Virat Kamli because we felt probably Yuvraj Singh will do a better job than Virat Kamli. So, I just want to let you, Mr. Kamli, that we considered you. We did consider you. <laughs> but if you just did not cry every single time you came on the pitch, we would have let you in. Yeah, that was the reason. And our captain is same, right? Captain is same, yeah. yeah. Mr. Dhoni. I mean, who can... Is Dhoni? Who else? Yeah. Hmm. Who's, who, I thought uh, our captain was uh, who, who Ajinkya Rani. Ajinkya Rani. Oh, oh Ajinkya okay. Rani. No, I didn't pick him. So, I had a choice to put Mahen Singh Dhoni <laughs> captain or Ajinkya Rani captain. But then I was like, okay, I guess uh, let's just uh, stick with this guy. And uh, also, uh, the other guy who was uh, who throws a lot of tantrums I and think got you, dropped from the World Cup. I think, I think you don't like Maharashtrians for some reason. No, I was just no. By the way, that just I was just trying to figure out. I actually miss uh, misspoke. Uh, what I meant was Robin Cheese Uthappa. I don't know why I always call him Robin <laughs> Cheese Uthappa, but uh, his name is not Robin Cheese. The his name is just Robin Uthappa. But uh, yeah. Robin Cheese Uthappa would have been my wicket keeper. But then I was like. Ah, Okay, Mahin Singh Dhoni is fine. So, MS Dhoni is there. So, we don't have any debate particularly out there because once you pick Mahin Singh Dhoni, because he's already won the World Cup, he he's very calm. As much as I don't like him in the second part, he will win you the one day, shorter format of game, he will win yeah. you. No matter how he'll do it, he'll get the job done. Plus, he's going to be wicket keeper. Plus, he's going to get the runs. So, I really don't see how you're not going to have Virat, uh, Mahin Singh Dhoni instead of him, instead of, like, you know, as I said, um, uh, Robin Chizu Thapa. And the next player that we Rahul have, Dravid. that's the different one. Uh, what? Or Rahul Dravid as, as wicketkeeper. It's going to be just two stove flow. We have to think for 2020, right? So, as much as I love uh, Rahul Dravid, I just never even considered him. Sorry about that, Mr. Yeah. Dravid. But I really love you and I really liked him when he used to play. But I'm like, for one day international. I mean, how many things is he going to do? Because sometimes they were asking him, can you just bowl next over then the way yeah. you become the wicketkeeper again he was he was so he was so docile i mean he would do anything open play in the, i think if if they had asked nicely he would have bowled as well <laughs> yeah the great greatest um, uh, act of defiance or uh, the rebelliousness he ever showed was declaring the team uh, yeah. the test match at 194 in 194 and after that, he never even commented anything on that. He clearly knew Tenduka was wrong, but he just never said anything because he was like, 
yeah, let's just be peaceful because that's what his wife says to him. Listen, if I say something, just agree. And that's what you do in the rest of your life as well. He said, okay, ma'am. And that's what he said to Tendulkar as well. Tendulkar got kind of angry. All right, we're getting on to all-rounders. I think you have already tons of all-rounders, uh, including yeah, fighting yeah. all-rounders. Uh, next one is my all-rounder is Suresh Raina, which a lot of people have forgotten right now. But I think he was a very good fielder. And he was also a very clean hitter. Probably not as clean as Jivrat Singh, but fairly clean, man. He would actually go for it and he'd whack it. And he was, a, he was mm. still, recently, he was still in our T20 team. And then he just got fat because I think once you hang out with Yuvraj Singh and you also get married, then you eat panatha, then you just get fat. He you still really like fat people. I don't know. They just get fat, man. What can I do? Rohit Sharma is fat. Saivag is fat. Kohli is fat. fat. Jesus Christ. I have all the fat people. This is weird. <laughs> okay, my my uh, my bowling team is not fat, luckily. So that is my thing. You have put Ajay Jadeja. Why did you pick Ajay Jadeja? No, not Ajay Jadeja. The guy is... He sold the country. He sold the country. Oh, that's a mis- okay. Sorry, that's a misunderstanding here. Not as uh, the guy who sold the country. It's Ravindra Jadija, the guy who kicked uh, yeah. Manjrekar out. Ravindra Jadija. Ravindra Jadija. Let's be clear. Not as Jadija, which I got. I yeah. was very angry. I would have protested and actually yeah. boycotted Mr. the podcast. And uh, Manjrekar sir was uh, <laughs> kicked out because of Ravindra Jadija from the commentary and no longer <laughs> being the commentator. And uh, yeah, because he thought he was a bits and parts player. Parts. 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 Bits and pieces, yeah. Bits and pieces. Pieces, okay. Then now who is in pieces? Yeah, bits. <laughs> so why Ravindra Jadeja? So you have uh, Raina at that position. So yeah. if you compare fielding-wise, uh, Ravindra Jadeja and Raina, I, I would say both are similar. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, I think what happened with Jadeja, he was not a good batsman before. He And I mean, he I think he had... Uh, he has... Uh, talent but he didn't use i mean he didn't use his brain a lot a lot of the times if you see his earlier innings he would just come and just throw his bat around but this is the thing i've seen uh happening that he has become a better batsman now he's understanding how he needs to play in certain situations which which i felt raina was not able to do that because raina raina's game never rose it stayed the same uh if you see uh, his trajectory he never excelled started excelling like somewhat like uh, mohammed kaif because he started uh, with that excellent uh, you know knock in in england and after that he still remained our best best fielder uh, but his game his batting never rose uh, uh, never got better so with ravindra jadeja i feel like uh, feel like he is getting better and better in in his batting and bowling obviously there is no competition between raina and uh, ravindra jadeja he is much much better uh, bowler than uh, raina and uh, so uh, right now i at this position because raina is already almost uh, i think he is almost done uh, uh, i don't see him coming back again uh, in the indian odi team uh, but no, that's uh, Ravindra the Jadeja, but go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel that Ravindra Jadeja is uh, improving uh, match by match. I'm, I'm talking about his batting and even bowling. In fact, if you see, uh, he has he fought his way back in the team because uh, there was a point where uh, uh, the Kulcha uh, Kulcha pair. Uh, I'm talking about Kuldeep and uh, Chahal. Uh, they hmm. were only they were uh, the main. Uh, spinners in the team so they were the only two people getting picked uh, but this guy just fought his way back in and I mean it it helped that uh, uh, Pandya got injured and we really needed an all-rounder but uh, but yeah I just feel that he has become a better batsman uh, as as he has pro- progressed in his career his his innings against uh, New Zealand he almost uh, won the won us the uh, won us the match uh, uh, in the in the World Cup semi final against New Zealand. So yeah, I mean, I feel that he is becoming better and better, and he is a better he is a better ball uh, bowler altogether. So that way, I feel that he is just better. All right. So you talked a lot about your love for Ravindra Jadeja, not Ajay Jadeja, as I was uh, previously <laughs> thinking. And for heaven's sake, please don't tell me, please don't enlighten me all these words like Kulcha. I was not aware of it. I had never heard of it. 
but now i know it and this is what i'm going to dream about i just this is i hate this thing. why do you have to bring up mohammed kaif i forgot about this guy i completely forgot him. now it's just, it's back now he's back in my memory but mohammed kaif was some the most malnourished cricketer one of, one of the greatest fielders at one point in time just could not bat could not hit a boundary still they would put him as a batsman somehow they felt because of one decent innings he had this guy got like hundreds of one day international because that one inning but come on okay just yeah. to say what you talked about ravindra jadeja mr jadeja that you said ravindra jadeja unlike raina became a better batsman of course he was going to become a better batsman the guy was terrible to start with and made all the wrong decision <laughs> raina who came in was already a very good batsman so yeah. i agree with you that he could not become a great batsman from a good batsman and that should have happened but i think eventually is this priorities if he had been fitter and he would be more motivated but i think somehow raina was just comfortable how he was because he was uh. a very good batsman and he could have he should have surpassed yuvraj singh but he did not do it he always remained sh- yuvraj shadow even when yuvraj was not his best so i agree with that mm. and uh, only way ridya has to he had to get better but one thing i was and I, because there was we had a break unfortunately which uh, audience might not understand it but i thought one thing you said about from a bowling i mean what, i don't know how you compare bowling with anyway there's no point so as you said there's no comparison in that but from a fielding perspective you said they were equal i think raina at his best was equal with jadeja but jadeja is definitely a better fielder overall because uh, mm-hmm. raina at his peak will be similar to them but then he uh, overall because raina was not the same fielder he was still good efficient but he never never built jadeja throughout and keeps getting better as well i'll say this yeah. one uh, dialogue and i'm really happy this coming to me because i've been meaning to say this in the podcast since i've heard it it has <laughs> nothing to do with this entire thing but somehow adds adds value to it <laughs> it is said when they compare lionel messi with diego maradona and a lot of people they say there's one guy who quoted this thing and it's amazing quote and i've said this to you earlier you might remember this thing that he says mm. um Lionel Messi is Maradona every single match he plays and even Maradona was not Maradona every single match he played and that's the difference between Lionel Messi and Maradona because his Lionel Messi is Maradona every single time which even Maradona was not Maradona every single time so same <laughs> way i feel Ravindra Jadeja is Ravindra Jadeja every single Suresh Raina uh, Ravindra Jadeja is Suresh Raina every single time but Suresh Raina wasn't Suresh Raina every single, single time actually it actually makes sense so um, so i feel i nice. understand the why why you picked him i i, I think yeah, i think i just i just wanted to pack i i'm not going to get ryan out of bowl i know i'm not an idiot obviously <laughs> but then sometime you'll have to bowl two overs to tendulkar two overs to sehwag two overs to yuvraj two overs to raina yeah. and one over to dhoni and one over to rohit sharma and kohli's like <laughs> what the fuck i can bowl too <laughs> it's like okay don't worry about it <laughs> moving no, on further uh, because actually, we already yeah uh, huh, yeah, well, uh, yeah actually Kohli won't bowl because he's already uh, said this uh, on record that he, he has the worst bowling action ever. Uh, if I find that video, I'll put it there. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Well, if I become the captain, I'll be like, okay, uh, Virat, please one over, please. Thank you. <laughs> Just for the fucking with him. Because I, 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 my team is going to beat you anyway. So I'm like, uh, you already need 65 runs at the last over. So let's have Virat Kohli. Here. <laughs> okay. All right, let's okay. hit to the bowlers, and I hope your bowlers are also not batsmen, just like other team, which we'll not reveal. <laughs> Who are your bowlers? Okay. We have one same uh, bowler, uh, great left armor. Yeah, Zaheer Khan. So I think both both of us have the same one. Or, yeah. or did you mean Irfan Pathan? <laughs> People have completely <laughs> forgotten the greatest bowler who never became anything. <laughs> Even his brother yeah. sir passed away. Actually, no talent. He's like literal hathoda. He just takes a bat and just swings it. His, ba- I can't believe his brother sir passed him. I mean, the guy had no yeah. talent whatsoever. Yeah, that's just unbelievable. Yeah. That's just, that's that's just I'm, I just can't understand that how the hell that guy. Anyway, no, so it's not Zaheer Khan, right? Yeah, it's Zaheer Khan, not Irfan Patan. So yeah, so both of us have Zaheer Khan. I I think uh, whoever makes a similar team. Uh, they can't drop or they can't leave out zahir khan and if they leave out like you said in the first part i don't want to have any conversation with them <laughs> well i don't think he is a, he's as great but i can see like i totally agree with him he's like i mean he has to pick him for india 11 who there was nobody for before. india 11 yeah 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 for india 11 i mean he's not a greatest bowler or anything but i'm just saying from a new point of way i mean you the guy zahir khan I mean, like yeah absolutely man i agree moving yeah. on Now that we have a different bowlers, JJ Bumrah, right? We have JJ Bumrah. I yeah, Bumrah is the the 
chey chey bumra very new yeah. bowler but come on the guy i mean if you really want to ask me like he's probably has to be the like the most amazing indian bowler like you know in some guy comes like this guy is a superstar like guys like mm-hmm. you don't have to wait for him to play 100 matches or take you know because you can't be like oh he's taken these many wickets you know we always say these this person has made these many runs but the jj bumra you like dude if he plays two matches you know it is bumra i saw him in ipl and i was like hmm why is this guy not playing for india this guy looks like really wacky like his action mm-hmm. is going everywhere it's like who is this guy man he's like so wacky <laughs> so i was like yeah, and then obviously this is Mm. Yeah, Vishesh, like the, the entire swing of his arm is just like crazy. So I think apart yeah. from those two bowlers, is like very obvious to people. You have picked um, the next uh, fast bowler I have is Mohammad Shami, and you have picked, please. Uh, Who did you pick? Bhuvneshwar, Bhuvneshwar, ah, Bhuvneshwar Kumar. Yeah. Kumar. Yes. Yeah. Why do you have Bhuvneshwar Kumar instead of Mohammad Shami, or anybody else you could have picked? Yeah, I couldn't think of anyone else uh, apart from I mean they, uh, uh, apart from Bhuvneshwar and Shami. Uh, Shami was also in the contention, but Shami is a great bowler in Test matches. Uh, I mean, I this is what I feel, uh, but I don't think he is that good in one days. He takes he keeps taking wicket that is there. I agree to that. But uh, yeah. his dead bowling is very bad. I mean, so uh, I want. I know Zaheer Khan also used to bowl good in death, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you need fa- your fast bowlers should have the ability to bowl in the death. So that's why uh, Bhuvneshwar Kumar has been doing great job uh, bowling in the death. Even opening bowling, he swings the ball. He he is one of the uh, few bowlers whose uh, pace actually increased uh, from the initial days. Uh, recently, he has been plagued with some injuries, so he has been off color from I think last six seven months. uh but uh since we are just comparing about peaks like uh, you know i mean how they have performed consistently so i felt that uh, bhuvneshwar kumar is better uh, in one day as at least uh, is better than uh, mohammad shami yeah, yeah mohammad shami yeah, I so I, yeah. I completely will any day pick yeah no i'll pick mohammad shami over bhuvneshwar kumar i think bhuvneshwar kumar is definitely one of the one of the best bowlers that india has had in fact i would rank him ahead of zahir khan but i've just had seen a little bit of problems with him recently because when you said the mm-hmm. shami is shit in uh, death you definitely agree that uh, bhuvneshwar kumar has also been fairly shit in death uh, and there's been like oh, yeah. kind of ups and downs and i don't i don't think the injury uh, hampered him so much i mean definitely had a cause but he he sort of mm-hmm. be fine and i also feel like even if he's faster it should not matter so much because he's a swing bowler and for a swing bowler sometimes mm-hmm. it just better to be is not bowling too fast because the ball you know does swing more if you're not bowling too fast and he's yeah. he's got this very amazing rhythm uh, about him so like something like a glen mcgraw rhythm and he's just like no not like the, he doesn't bowl like glenmer but i'm saying he's got a very rhythm bowler and once he's mm. in the rhythm and he he's the guy with the knuckle ball right this is the guy mm. like you know, he yeah. practiced that for like 6 months he was on a break and he just kept practicing practicing entire single day we just practiced knuckle ball so i think plus his attitude the way he is he's this his chocolate boy guy who probably got married to his mm. high school student heart So I think I'm I'm not going to say Bhuvneshwar Kumar why not but I'm just picking um Bhub, uh, Shami because I think he's just more lethal whether you see the records because with Bhuvneshwar Kumar record when you see it makes more sense because uh, Shami's only played 77 matches and he is takes yeah. at least two wickets a match and recently something has since he has divorced that lady he was with uh, <laughs> who thinks he's a terrorist uh, who's selling his country uh, I think he's just gotten better and after that i think he's gotten to the virat kohli fitness regime and he's as a test yeah. bowler one day bowler like i think it was a pick between him or uh, bhubneshwar i just went with yeah. uh, shami i personally don't i think i personally if you ask me who i like more i think i like uh, bhubneshwar kumar but i just felt like for my team i'm just going to pick mohammad shami and uh, i just mm. felt it would be better for my team and then who is your uh, do we have the legend mr kumbhal was he a fast bowler or a leg spinner i don't know what he was, he was fast <laughs> Yeah, it was a fast leg spinner. <laughs> yeah, so I, I mean, if you have to, if you have to choose a spinner, I don't see anyone else apart from Kumble because uh, I know uh, uh, Chahal and uh, Kuldeep are doing well, but they are very early in their careers. We ha- we still have to see how they will come back because now, uh, now, I think they are going through a bad patch. Uh, Kuldeep went for a lot, a uh, lot of runs. Even Chahal went for a lot of runs. Yeah, and I, I, apart from. I think- Yeah. yeah 
you know yeah so apart from uh, anil kumble i don't see any spinner who is really consistent there have been lot of spinners we had uh, uh, murli kartik we had uh, piyush chawla your favorite and uh, there was mishra again a fat guy uh, i think fat yeah so yeah i mean there have been there have been lot of uh, spinners uh, uh, in the team but the, i don't see anyone who who consistently played for the uh, played uh, in the odi team for so, such a long time because he was good and and as a character also he 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 was one of those uh, you know strong characters generally you don't find uh, in an indian team so yeah i mean that was my reason to pick him what was yours okay i think what you said was very nice but i think you did not do justification to his talent but by the way i just have to update you and there's a tweet right out out there and this is last tweet was for you but this tweet is for both of us this is from ashish nehra and he said fuck you too so <laughs> it's like and then he said thank you i don't know like he just probably asked thank you to everything so ashish nehra is not happy uh, not very happy by this by the way raju venkatpati raju people have forgotten yeah. another great left out like the same yeah. one over and over you just you just right now harbhajan singh is not happy ajit agarkar is not happy he they're saying like uh, jawagal shina they like look listen you idiots we have taken 300 wickets almost and uh, jawagal has taken 300 and ajit agarkar is like listen i'm a nice person but why doesn't anybody consider me i'm the third highest wicket taker <laughs> on, on indian earth for heaven sake and very fast as well and under 200 matches nobody cares right why don't people care about ajit agarkar but i think that's going to take another podcast so my reason is anil kumble even in 2020 the guy is just so different from any leg spinner that you can ever see and will ever see the guy wanted to be a fast bowler then he started bowling leg spin there was a time when one of the great fast bowlers venkatesh prasad <laughs> from india <laughs> was bowling at the same speed as anil kumble because both of them were bowling at 120 and 22 that's exactly the same pace and they were like one was this was fast bowler one was this leg spinner so it was very confusing that's why i asked you is he a fast bowler because if you have venkatesh is prasad then i don't know who is the fast bowler anymore <laughs> so i feel because he's googly is flippers going fast like suddenly like and you, you know how sometimes when he actually bowled he like clean bowled you the wicket will actually go as far as sometimes as bretley or shoaib akhtar as well like you know yeah. just it's hard flying ball Yeah. Because of what happens with flipper? I used to bowl flipper when I was a when I used to play like cricket properly. So what happens with flipper is when, uh, people will be seeing on my camera that the ball when it pitches on the it just takes off from there. So when it takes off mm-hmm. suddenly, although the on the uh, the meter it might say one twenty, but it actually takes off and it hits the like the the stumps. Which stumps people think it's the top? No, those are bales. The stumps are the which is the vertical <laughs> thing. If it hits the stump at that at uh, that velocity at that speed, it can actually start like flying everywhere unless it hits the wicket keeper. Because sometimes even wicket keeper would be very scared of Anil Kumble. One of the reason wicket keepers start wearing helmets was Anil Kumble because they're like, dude, we don't know where your ball is going, and it's very yeah. difficult to wicket keep. And that's why I always advise Parthiv Patel. Always advise Parthiv Patel. But this guy can wicket keep for anybody. And uh, Kumble is favorite yeah. Parthiv Patel. Kumble is like, no, he's not my favorite. Like, please don't put words in my mouth. So I feel like I, I, I really, you know, frankly, Kuldeep, Kuldeep is not mature enough, and uh, Chahal is definitely a very great ball. I'm saying at the end of the day, Kumble not only has the highest wickets for India, but I don't know how do you not pick Anil Kumble because it's just be unfair if I don't Anil pick Anil Kumble mm. and put like uh, Chahal would probably play like what 30, 40, 50 games. I was just not right. And sorry, Maninder Singh, we did yeah. not pick you because you are a great ball. But you know, come on. But then Saru Ganguly is saying, listen, boy, what about Harjit Singh? Harbhajan, I don't know. <laughs> like, I wanted a leg spinner because we already have a lot of part-time off spinners. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. Yeah, Harbhajan became like Dhoni only, True. right? Very conservative, very conservative. For a for a one-day international, very conservative. Yeah. But uh, yeah, everybody bowls off spin. It's just mm. a leg spinner is something you can't. You don't get part-time leg spinner. Tendulkar is like, listen, <laughs> I'm leg spinner. He just said I'm leg yeah. spinner. Tendulkar is saying I'm leg spinner. Took a lot of wickets as well. 154. Uh, Ganguly saying I was a fast bowler. I took hundred wickets. Why don't you include me? He's like Sir Ganguly is like just up my ass throughout this podcast. He's like you guys just hate me. You guys hate Bengali and, and, because we are the best. Bengali is the best. <laughs> and and I just saw a tweet from Ashwin. He said, "What the hell, guys? You didn't oh, even Ashwin, consider Ali. me." <laughs> At least he's being polite. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're not considering us. I, mean, I just yeah, thought about that. What is wrong with us that we don't even put him in the dialogue? This guy is like, 
dude what do i need to do man i'm like i have a great bowl i just don't care like and i don't even get picked for one day test you forgotten me you completely forgot me and he's pissed off then they drop in from international yeah. test matches and they put me in the jadeja in they like now this guy is even a better bowler than i am is like oh, i am i spend me out like that's it so i think uh, on that note i think that's our team uh, we'll just quickly go through our team that uh, uh, Bikram's team is Rohit Sharma, Sachin Tendulkar, Gautam Gambhir, Virat Kohli, Yuvraj Singh, Mahendra Singh, Dhoni, Ravindra Jadeja, Jahir Khan, Bhuvneshwar Kumar, Anil Kumble, and JJ Bumrah. My team is Tendulkar. I don't like him, but he has to be in the team. Rohit Sharma, Virat Sehwag, can't feel to save his life, but come on, he's going to give you something interesting. Virat Kohli, Yuvraj Singh, Suresh Raina, Dhoni, captain and wicketkeeper. I think we both have the captain wicketkeeper. Same. JJ yeah, Bumrah, Zahir yeah. Khan, Mohamed Shami, and Anil Kumble, and no Ashwin, and no... last thing let's say last comment we should have in on one of the greatest bowlers that i ever saw and then you also saw and then forgot who got slapped by harbhajan singh three oh, sons yeah and who was <laughs> embroiled into match fixing oh you forgot the slap that was that was the biggest bigger than the monkey gate man yeah yeah he was it was Very and good, uh, by the way no jokes I'm joking i'm joking but definitely one one great swing bowler and always used to kiss the ball and uh, right now <laughs> probably not we advise Oh, in the covid <laughs> times you know, yeah. everybody is sitting on it and you're kissing the wall and uh, this guy is probably i don't know like jesus like i i don't know is it is it normal that anybody who gets embroiled in match fixing then gets married next year very soon right after that just they just get married yeah because because then the people know so, like, that he has money <laughs> Yeah. yeah. And money and he's like, okay, I'm gonna get married. The parents say, "Beta, yeah, this is a very good thing. You should get married." It's like, okay, who will marry me? But then they realize that, dude, you have match fixing problem, but you're still a famous person. People will marry you. Yeah. And you still have. You can also go and nach pali and all those things, right? Apparently, he went on some yeah. dance program. Dance program. Yeah. Dance, yeah. Yes. Dance program. Yeah. He did go on dance. Program. And he did. So, yeah, and like, he did. Can... And he d- even uh, showed his moves to Matthew Hayden. once wow so all these people have a career so all the people who didn't get chosen <laughs> trust me you have a brilliant career rest why anyway you know what I'm saying? anyway this is just a this is like a, it's not a fake team it's a great team but again these guys now going to play you can't get anil kumble and tendulkar to come back i'm sure tendulkar can come back a lot of players are actually still playing that's the interesting part that shows like the our older teams are not that great yeah that is one of Gambhi the reasons why, why i Gambhi say that <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'll, I mean, uh, updated his Wikipedia page just now. After you, what you said, he's he says it page says active Indian player, IPL <laughs> champion, better than Kohli in brackets. It just says better than Kohli for no reason. Just suddenly <laughs> says better than Kohli. And <laughs> yeah, check out here. Yeah, so, yeah. I think Gambhi has won. He has become very really happy after this thing. He is just he is just like I'm yeah. just happy. I love it. People love me. I'm the greatest player. Vikram, you're gonna get some bouquets or stuff. Whenever the non-essentials start getting delivered, you're gonna get non-essentials. You're gonna get avalanche of non-essentials delivered at your footstep. <laughs> And while we were doing all this, uh, Rohit Sharma's wife just unfollowed you on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> which was a mistake to follow me in the first place so she just corrected the mistake so uh, mr sharma you did the right thing you shouldn't have followed me in the first place that was a mistake and i think she makes a lot of mistakes and then unfollows them <laughs> it just becomes a yeah. national issue because me then nobody knows me but when you do that with Vera, uh, anushka sharma then it becomes a national issue yeah all right i'm completely okay. out of breath at this time please if you've enjoyed it if you've not enjoyed it if you've watched it free loaders please like 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 button is very simple subscribe and keep watching us and keep please send us your team we want to know we yeah. want to laugh at certain please send us your team and i want to see if somebody Part- has the guts to talk to her yeah and parthi patel i know you have made that uh, international team oh, it's okay make a new account and uh, post your team for the indian one hmm by the way l balaji also tweeted he said like why did you not pick me just because i'm black you guys are racist <laughs> Calling us racist—it's like it's, uh, yeah. that's the kind of thing that happened. We—I was ready for that, and it's that's the way it is. That's the way RP Singh is also not happy, not happy at all. Yeah, yeah. A lot of players are going to bash us after this, but <laughs> what can we do? Umesh Adav, Umesh Adav tweeted in Hindi. He said, "Sab chutiya hi lo." Umesh Adav is like, "Ye to koi baat hi nahi kar raha hai, bhai. Koi baat hi nahi kar raha hai." 
<laughs> and Ashwin liked that tweet. <laughs> subscribe and keep watching and have a good life covid is over almost and uh, yeah we're going to be out go to restaurants go wherever you know but and yeah, watch cricket matches yeah watch cricket matches it's going to start soon and bundesliga would have already started by the time this thing comes out so you can watch football and bundesliga is germany so yeah they're doing very well they have teams other than bayern munich as well trust me there are there are there are 19 more teams <laughs> in the main league. there are yeah all right take care okay. Yeah. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Have a nice week. Bye.